what's up youtube welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel i just left speedway right now because i need a cell phone charger so i can keep ways going but this is the first drive me and a manual man like i done start about three or four times but i hope you guys appreciate this because this is the actual first drive with me driving this camaro ss1 le man so i'm at a light right now trying to get it back home i got 200 miles left to go to get home so y'all gonna uh i'm not gonna film the whole trip but i'm gonna guys give you my first impressions on the car versus the standard versus the uh ss1 le because i know there's some differences people probably think i bought the same car twice but i didn't the shifting down <laughs> I think I just heard a little bit of that rail match <laughs> Woo! Woo oh man oh man this is this is nasty man the, the feel like I gotta get this excitement over, man, cause like the feel of the steering wheel is like crazy and the shift knob. Oh, it forced me to go on the fourth on that one. I'm getting the concept down, but I'm just getting used to it cause I'm like nervous, man. <laughs> I'm so nervous. And like the infotainment center on here is completely different than what I'm used to in the old setup. We about to get on the highway. This is gonna be crazy. I didn't realize how much it work <laughs> it is, man, driving the manual through the city. Like I respect y'all that do the manuals. Like it's crazy. Like my hands is always busy. I, I really appreciate the the effort, but the the driving with this man is like phenomenal oh my gosh the highway i feel like the highway gonna be easier than the city though it's 40 degrees right now so this is like the best impressions is that the clutch is a lot lighter than I thought it would be like for me being a first time manual owner like it's a it is a very learnable clutch it's not too heavy it's not too uh, light it's not too light and it's not too stiff it's like perfect the thing I'm riding in tour mode right now so just off the highway it's since it got different suspension because on the standard SS that I did have that had FB3 suspension this had FB4 suspension and the difference uh, as of now for this to be a track capable car it's really soft I, I don't have any complaints with it uh, whatsoever uh, right now I'm switching up my heads up display I'll go through on another video like what I lost what I gained um, but I'm just trying to get the feel and used to it. So on the highway so far, like I'm in fifth, I'm in fifth gear with uh, no problem doing 2,000 RPM. So I feel good that I'm on my way home on the expressway. It is now getting this Apple CarPlay going. A few moments later. Okay, we're back and uh, I'm getting getting comfortable driving it. A little bit and man it's like the snap crackles and pops oh i got a fifth gear 2500 rpm it's nuts <laughs> oh my god fourth gear Like I'm on speechless. Like I'm looking at the color, 
The color is like phenomenal. I got it in track mode and it's just snap, crackle, and popping. Like today is a, a good day to drive this car. 200 miles left to go, 26 miles on the odometer right as we speak. And I'm gonna put this in sixth gear and we're just gonna talk about it real quick. So, okay, now we now uh, I did a snap crowd with the pox. I'm just now getting my little first impressions done out the way since we back. Um, so let's get into what I feel like so far. So in touring mode, the suspension is it's weird to say it's coming from like a standard SS to the one at lead because people think they're the same car and it's not. Um, the touring feel like in this car feel like sport mode. And sport feel like uh, track mode a little bit, but not as we find. And track mode, it's like very stiff. Like you, I, I can tell the suspension difference. Um, Another thing that I'm telling, I'm feeling off the rip is that uh, the brakes, the six piston brakes compared to the four piston brakes, these bite a lot harder and I stop a lot sooner than I did in the 2SS. Um, so that's something I'm thinking about here. I'm in cruise control, so it feels good that I can talk. I'm not always shifting. So that, that gives me a little bit of comfort. Uh, comfortability that I can be able to talk and uh, vlog with you guys um, during this so I can share my opinion about it uh, I haven't tried any of the gears like uh, I haven't tried any of the modes like track mode this particular vehicle do have PDR so I am able to uh, you know record my track days and do footage like that which that'll be beneficial and I'm going to try to see what it's like here because I haven't even touched it yet they're still giving me all warning and basic like information uh, compare from the leather steering wheel and the leather uh, shift knob that I had in the automatic this Alcantara or microfiber suede or whatever is is night and day difference like if I had to tell you to get it I would get it but I'm in my mind I feel like I don't want to dirty it up like I want to put gloves on because it feels that good it feels that good to me. Um, another thing is um, I got to get used to the controls uh, because I have a 1SS, 1LE, and some of the controls I'm used to being dual mode, not like it's being dual, uh, like it's, you control the heat on one side and the, and you control the, the air on the other side. So I'm trying to get used to that a little bit, you know. Um, Watch out vehicle on shoulder ahead. Besides that, uh, the shift knob and the the leather or the steering uh, the shift knob and the steering wheel feel really good. I mean, way better than the 2SS um, one. As far as I have red matching on too. Coronavirus. <coughs> Excuse me. I have red matching on and. It's helping me out. I'm learning the car. There's something weird though, is that as a first time driver, it's forcing me, I do not like that it's forcing me to go to first to fourth. And I think I need to probably put a little bit more on the throttle or not. So I guess this is gonna be my toy to play on, you know, because I don't know if I can deactivate that in the settings or what, but this is where we at. Another, uh, like as I'm looking at it, the Recaro's seats is phenomenal. Like for what I'm going to do, uh, since you all know, if you know this channel, you first time new uh, to this channel, um, I like doing modifications to my vehicles and I do enjoy the track life. I'm a, I'm an avid track rat. Uh, so this car will be used to go onto the track uh, I wanted a manual for the track because if you guys are new to the channel, uh, the previous Camaro that I had was an eight-speed automatic, and I did have it tuned, but I also had to uh, change the transmission on that one because after the tune, it's like a blue on the track for me, so now I won't have that issue, I believe, because I'm 
rolling the gears. And I feel like this is where it's at to roll the gears. Like, as I, that which leads into my next segment, as I roll the gears, I feel like it's, this car is meant for a manual transmission. The automatic is, it's only good if you get like a 10 speed. Um, I feel like if you're going to track the car and I understand people got different uh, motors on why they get an automatic or a manual and I'll say that for another video but I feel like the manual is where it's at and I love it in this car after having the standard 2SS with that being said the car I feel like wants to be driven hard in the manual more than it does in the automatic it's just you just hop in and go um, but yeah, as we going down the next impressions, I love the seats. I do have headroom. <coughs> I didn't have, I forgot to get my track helmet. So I do have headroom here. Lots of uh, headroom versus this was flat when I had the sunroof. So I'm glad I'm getting more hand space because when I'm at the track or I do a hard on the curb or I hit a jump, I used to sometimes hit my head on the liner and I'm not doing that now at all. And I got the seat to the floor. Um, the bolstering of the seats, like I'm not sliding at all. So I love that. Versus in my uh, 2SS standard Camaro, I was sliding in the leather seats and I am not moving at all. I love it. Like this is the Camaro that I should have got, but it wasn't out when I purchased my Camaro. Now, as I'm looking around, do I miss, I know the big question is, do I miss the two SS features in this one that says Camaro. And looking around, the answer is yes and no. And I'm gonna tell you some few things that what I miss, um, but what I don't miss. Two things that's like, I like the memory seats, but I don't like them. You know, because I mean, I'm, I'm the only one, be the only person driving, so it's not like it's a, it's a loss there for me. Two, uh, I do see where GM gets cheap on the 1SS, and that's like the the knee paddles. Like in the other one, I had leather pads. This is like hard plastic. Even the arm covers is hard plastic. I had leather there. Also, um, another thing is that uh, I haven't listened to the audio system, but me being an audio uh, file person, it's like, I like the Bose, and that's because it had that bass. But I haven't listened to this, so don't quote me on that yet. I'll do another video on like what my what I think about it after I have it for a while. But this is like the best time for me to drive it, otherwise it's gonna be back snowing again. Um, but the things that I do, um, miss is having the Camaro light up so that's something I'm going to add in the future and that's about it other than that I don't um, miss anything else for the 2SS feature yeah I can say I, I like the lights but at the same time I don't drive my car at night so the lights are mm, I'm like 50 50 with those do I, I do miss kind of like the dual climate control option I wish I could have that in this one but at the same time it's not a make or break because what am I going to, as I sat back and think about it, what I'm losing the car, what I'm going to be using the car for? Track and street. It's going to be a street track car. And GM did well out the factory with this particular one. What's funny is that I have a wicker bill now. I see it at the bottom. I'm so used to being part of Big Wayne Gang, having that big carbon fiber spoiler. Uh, so, yeah, that's where it's at. I got to get used to that. But... I can see out my back window now. Um, so yeah. One thing I do like versus the, my old Camaro is I like the infotainment center. It's gonna take me some time getting used to, uh, but because it's just a range different than the old Chevy MyLink. I think this is still MyLink, but it's just a newer version. Uh, it's gonna take it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to it, and I gotta switch it up to my liking. But I do, I do like it. Um, but that's about it though. So these are my first impressions on it. Like I love it. It do it do feel good. I I'm on cruise control. 
I'm 37 miles in and it's crazy. Like I'm back in the Camaro again. This time it's with a manual transmission and I have a totally different experience in the Camaro now than I have four years ago. It's like day and night difference. Like I always hear people say you should have got the manual or yeah, yeah, should have got the 10 speed. I've been this manual now, the transmission, it's it's awesome. And I, I'm gonna keep this car, I can see myself keeping this car for a long time. I can see myself enjoying this car because I like how I'm rolling the gears, literally. stick it and then try to like ram high and then get low and like i don't have to do that now it's like crazy i could just casually take my foot off i got popcorn all day movie theater mode amc mode you know like it's really it's really phenomenal and like people looking at me like <laughs> throwing a thumbs up you know like Cause they the first time seeing this color, so I feel good about that. Yeah, major. Before I wrap this video up, though, major shout out to my boy Will, man, that was traveling and helping me uh, all the way down here, man. Like, good dude, good friend. Y'all be sure to follow him on Instagram, King of Hearts. I had that go across. Uh, major shout out to Tim Lally uh, Chevrolet for getting this vehicle for me got it all to spec for me and get it here on a new on the new year uh, i really been waiting for this and i'm just thankful for them for being able to have this car for me um to start the new year off it's just all perfect timing i mean i guess it was god's plan so yeah so like that i'm gonna wrap this video up um if you like this video be sure to hit that like button be sure to subscribe and drop a comment below on what y'all want me to do, what videos y'all want me to do around this vehicle now. Because there's a lot more stuff I can do now than I couldn't do before. Because I have a different car now. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.